Be prepared, XRP holders. XRP news today. Hello, guys. Welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss news about XRP. But before we start, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before leaving. Also, hit that bell icon so you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. For now, let's get back to the video straight away. If you want to win an iPhone 12, maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? You decide. All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. And leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Less than three weeks ago, Solana managed to flip Uniswap and became part of the market's top 10. Since the flipping, SOL's price has rallied at a much faster pace. In fact, it even managed to jump ahead of the likes of USDC, Dogecoin, and Polkadot on the charts. XRP seemed to be SOL's next target. How so? Well, both the aforementioned alts have been displacing each other on CMC's chart over the past few hours. What's more, the market cap between the two has been less than $3 billion. Has XRP been able to hold up? The state of most XRP's metrics projected an unfortunate picture at press time. For starters, consider that MVRV ratio. It took more than 10 days for this metric to climb from 1.05 to 1.82. However, it was all in vain. The MVRV managed to fall from its peak back to the aforementioned low in the last 24 hours. Simply put, this suggests that XRP holders haven't been earning much when compared to a week back. Further, on the price DAA divergence chart, XRP was hovering in the positive territory until recently. Nonetheless, over the last 24 hours, the same not only stepped into the bearish zone, but also managed to get on par with the intensity of bearishness recorded during the latter half of May. What's more, the average age of XRP tokens has been consistently raising over the past few weeks. Two key metrics, mean coin age and mean dollar invested age, highlighted the same. However, the aforementioned trend has become changing of late because these curves have managed to inch lower and have started to defy the uptrend as the average age of dollars invested in XRP is becoming younger, it can be argued that the older tokens have started moving. Most of the price drops to date have been accompanied by a drop in the aforementioned metrics. Ergo, if both the curves continue to trend lower from here, it would essentially imply a conclusion of XRP's complacent run. In retrospect, the market cap of the token would feel the pinch and pave the way for Solana to overtake it. What to expect? XRP has undoubtedly carved a niche for itself in the cross-border payment ecosystem. However, its adoption rate has stagnated lately thanks to regulatory uncertainty. Solana's adoption, on the other hand, has been pretty impressive as of late, and in fact, SOL has been seeing strong interest emerging from institutional players. Keeping in mind the state of XRP's on-chain metrics, it'd be fair to argue that SOL has the potential to cling to the sixth rank for a longer duration. Thus, another momentous flippening can happen in the coming days. Judge Sarah Netburn on the SEC v Ripple case has been scheduled for a telephone conference to settle a privilege dispute over the agency's internal documents over either and XRP. The regulator has long argued that these files are protected by the Deliberative Process Privilege DPP, but this argument has been dismissed twice previously by the judge. The court has deemed the documents relevant to Ripple's fair notice defense and could shed light on the agency's contradictions over its decision on determining whether XRP is considered to be a security. With a small win for Ripple, positive sentiment could impact XRP price. Currently, the cross-border remittance token is battling resistance at 78.6 Fibonacci extension level at $1.21, and a break above this level could see a coin tag that the upper boundary is of the chart pattern $1.23. Only a powerful break above this level could see XRP price reach the aforementioned bullish target given by the bull pennant pattern at $1.76, coinciding with the 161.8% Fibonacci extension level. 
However, Ripple must overcome the swing high at $1.35 and the 127.2 Fibonacci extension level at $1.53 before the optimistic target could be in the offing. Investors should also note that only a surge in volume accompanied with a slice above the upper boundary of the chart would unravel the bullish narrative. An alternative also exists for XRP price. Should the bullish outlook dissolve, the current setup also suggests that Ripple could be forming a symmetrical triangle, which would only give the token a measured target of 22% surge to $1.47 if it slices above the topside trend of the chart pattern. Failure to sustain itself above $1.21 would see XRP price discover support at the lower boundary of the triangle, corresponding to the 50-12 hour simple moving average, SMA, and 61% Fibonacci extension level at $1.10. While this level would act at a substantial line of defense, further support may arise at 50% Fibonacci extension level only if XRP sees a spike in selling pressure. XRP trading pairs started to appear on the Coinbase Pro mobile application on September 10th. Ripple prices rose in light of this event, as trading volumes corresponded to the bull's excitement shortly after Coinbase clarified that it has not relisted the cross-border remittance digital currency. Four XRP trading shares showed up at the Coinbase platform, leading many to believe that the crypto exchange has relisted the digital token. The Nasdaq-listed firm previously removed Ripple for trading on its platforms due to the ongoing legal battle between the blockchain firm and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. Coinbase suspended trading in XRP on January 19th this year and has not announced whether or when it will resume trading services for Ripple. The Delaware-based crypto exchange quickly announced on Twitter that XRP was temporarily viewable on the platform due to a technical error, but users were able to trade the token. XRP experienced a 13% bounce when users believed that the token was once again listed on the exchange. However, after Coinbase denied the relisting rumors, Ripple fell 10%, erasing quick gains made in the day. While Coinbase has also been facing a lawsuit from the securities regulator, many in the crypto community have urged the exchange to relist XRP to show solidarity with Ripple against the SEC. XRP price has faltered due to the relisting rumors denied by Coinbase. Ripple fell 10% as the crypto community learned that it was only a technical error. The cross-border remittance token is now back under a significant resistance barrier at 204 hours simple moving average SMA at $1.14. Although the recent spike due to Coinbase rear pushed XRP price to slice above multiple hurdles, the excitement may now be over. In order for XRP price to attempt the climb higher, it would need to break the aforementioned resistance level as well as the 104-hour SMA at $1.18 to tag the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level at $1.21. Further upside momentum would see Ripple reach the 50-hour mark SMA at $1.22. Until substantial buying pressure emerges, Ripple is unlikely to see bigger aspirations. Should the bears take control, XRP price may discover immediate support at the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level at $1.10, before dropping lower to the 50% Fibonacci retracement level at $1.02. On the other hand, Bitcoin price shows a considerable strength after springing from the recent crashes. Still, it is uncertain whether the current bullish impulse will morph into a new uptrend or lead to more powerful profound decline. Even though the past week saw blood in the markets, things seem to have calmed down as Bitcoin appears to have found its footing. Chicago Mercantile Exchange CME, announced its launch of Micro Bitcoin Futures MBT on May 3rd, which could see a spike in interest from retail investors.
According to the firm's senior managing director, Sean Tully, the decision to launch this new financial product comes after the company netted $4.7 million in revenue from its offerings of the Bitcoin futures contract in the first quarter of 2021. Now, CME expects that MBT would appeal to a broader audience due to its relatively small lot sizing and fee structures. Bitcoin priceless dipped to $47,000 on April 25th, but has swiftly regained the losses incurred and now sits at an inflection point. Indeed, it could very well kickstart another rally that takes out the current highs as Ethereum has, or it might start off another much steeper correction. The weekly chart puts the flash crash in perspective and shows that the downward impulse pushed Bitcoin price into the early March territory but failed to test the 21-week exponential moving average EMA at $44,996. Had this level been tapped, the bullish scenario would have been acceptable. During the previous bull runs, BTC bounced off this EMA as it continued its parabolic growth. Hence, investors could get to see Bitcoin price come to such a crucial support level this time around. But for that to happen, a decisive daily candlestick close below the 100-day simple moving average SMA at $50,655 must occur. Although the 21-week EMA could keep falling prices at bay, failing to hold above it would likely lead to a downswing to the 200-day SMA at $36,022. Moreover, Bitcoin's 365-day MVRV reveals that most of the Bitcoin tokens purchased over the past year sit 50% higher than at the time they were acquired. The higher levels of profit that investors could incur now if they were to sell could indicate a potential spike in profit-taking that is underway. Interestingly, the recent peak seen in the 365-day MVRV coincides with the high late June 2019, which marked a local top at the time. Similar market reaction to this on-chain metric could see Bitcoin correct to at least the 21-week EMA at $44,996 despite the grim worst case scenario, whales continue to accumulate more Bitcoin at every dip. Bitcoin's supply distribution chart shows that a number of addresses with the 10,000 BTC or more has significantly increased with their holdings over the past week. These high net worth individuals acquired roughly 60,000 BTC and now own nearly 14% of the total supply. The massive buying pressure behind the flagship cryptocurrency opposes the bearish scenario outlined above, calling for a continuation of the uptrend. If buyers manage to push Bitcoin above $60,103, the hold above this crucial hurdle, the bearish scenarios will likely be invalidated. Still, investors must pay close attention to the 100-day SMA at $50,665 since a decisive close below it will send BTC into a tailspin towards the 21-week EMA at $44,996 or the 200-day SMA at $36,022. That's it for today, guys. We will see you guys next time. Until then.